Hey everybody, I'm John Swantek, and welcome to Direct Connect on PGATour.com, where you guys, the fans, get to ask the questions and connect directly with PGA Tour players through our social media platforms. Great to have eight-time PGA Tour champion Zach Johnson join us this week from Memphis, Tennessee, side of the FedEx St. Jude Classic. Zach, we got a bunch of great questions from your fans, so we're going to jump right in this week. The first one comes through Facebook. It's from Scott Melton. He says, first off, thanks for coming to Memphis. What makes you decide to play the week before major? Well, that's a great question, uh, Scott. You know, it, it's one of those that um, there's four majors during the year, but only one is on the same site every year. Obviously, that's Augusta at the Masters. So I feel like I know how to prepare for Augusta at home. I take that week off. Um, but when it comes to the other majors, there are new venues. Typically, you know, I mean, we, we, there's a rotation sometimes, but for the most part, it's a new venue every year. And as a result, um, I like to be playing in that competitive mode, that competitive nature when going into those majors. It just seems like it's, um, it's been best for me. I, I feel like when I get there, um, I don't have to do too many fundamental work on the range. I can just kind of go out there and get the rhythm going, get used to the golf course and play. TPC Southland is going to be a tough test this week for uh, Zach Johnson, winner of the Crown Plaza Invitational, despite that two-stroke penalty on the 18th on Sunday for failing to return his ball mark to its original position. We knew we were going to get a couple questions on that, Zach. Here comes one through the tour mm -hmm. report. He says, Zach, I know you expected some grief after Colonial from the guys back at Sea Island. How many copies yeah. of the rules book have you received since then? Yeah, that's funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, the uh, you know there hasn't been a whole lot of backlash. Everybody's been <laughs> actually pretty kind about it. If anything, it's kind of been the other way. Everybody feels like two strokes was a bit harsh. Um, you know, they, a lot of people are saying it should have been a one-stroke penalty or whatever. But uh, you know, it really doesn't. I mean, I, I take full blame for it. It was a, a brain cramp and something that I don't think will ever happen again. And um, I feel fortunate to certainly have won, but fortunate to have had a three-shot lead and. Um, and I feel fortunate to have friends that are very understanding. <laughs> uh, let's go to Facebook for another one for Zach Johnson. It's from Jake Gilmer. How many times have you heard that you look like Joaquin Phoenix? No, oh, that's the first today. Really? So, quite a few, quite a few, quite a few. Okay. I mean, uh, it happens, yeah, more than I'd like to admit, but we're going to go with Johnny Cash, Joaquin Phoenix, not, not the scruffy beard, <laughs> right. David Letterman vignette. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Joaquin Phoenix. So, I heard a new one the other day. Robert, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, Pattinson from Twilight. I'll take that as a compliment, I guess. There you go. That works as well. Uh, yeah. his, his... Actually, they said they said that he looks like me. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. You're a little more famous these days. That's right. Yeah. Uh, right. 2007 Masters champion Zach Johnson joining us. Another one through Facebook from Adrian Geating. Where do you keep your green jacket? He says. And how often do you wear it around the house? Uh, Adrian, uh, I wish I had a better answer for you, but um, the way that operates, the protocol behind the green jacket is once you win the Masters Tournament, you get the jacket for one year, uh, kind of to your disposal, but you should wear it for golf-oriented events only, meaning you know whether it's a golf corporate event or charity event or something of that nature. After that, it sits uh, back at Augusta National, and then once I get there for that week of uh, the Masters every year, it's in my locker. So. I have it for one year, and uh, I try to wear it as much as possible, but, um, you know, I'd like to get it one more time at least. Zach Johnson from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, our guest on Direct Connect this week. Here's one through Twitter from at GoHawks83. Zach, I know you've been very active in flood relief efforts in Iowa since the devastation of 2008. How is everything going? Well, I, you know, from my, to my knowledge, the movement has been, it's been positive. There, there certainly is some things in, internally in Cedar Rapids that have... Um, gone on that have been positive. Obviously the cleanup effort was great. I mean everybody kind of got together, held hands and went after it and uh, rolled up their sleeves and, and um, did some nice work. But um, as of late there's been some positive movements in, in Cedar Rapids from a corporate standpoint that some of the neighborhoods are being rebuilt and you know there, there's been some nice uh, movements in the, in, a, in the right direction where they're um, you know putting up the necessary levies and, and support structures and that sort of thing. So. Um, that's Iowans. That's they just they just get after it. And certainly the Zach Johnson Foundation Classic uh, is going to help the cause as well. Here's another question through the tour report. Uh, wants to know when your charity tournament at Elmcrest is this year, Zach. And uh, he <laughs> says if you're short of any, be happy to fill in. Yeah, yeah, nice. Uh, well, I appreciate that. Um, my second 
uh, annual event is this July 29th and 30th, 30th being the Pro-Am date. And um, we're looking for a great, great year. I mean, last year exceeded any expectations I had, and I, you know, this year is going to be even better, I think. Um, certainly my board has done a lot of really cool things in, in the area, in Cedar Rapids, and the community has rallied behind our efforts, and um, they're making this event their own, which is pretty special. So um, July 29th and 30th, proceeds essentially go straight to uh, Kids on Course, which is a program in Cedar Rapids implemented about a year and a half ago, give or take, uh, but this, this following school year, and just giving kids a lot of enriching opportunities to um, you know, help them in the future and certainly uh, just keep them interested in school, uh, athletics, arts, etc. So we're uh, trying to make it well-rounded and um, great people behind it. Yep, that's cool and all for a great cause. Let's uh, sneak one more in for Zach Johnson comes through the tour report from Davey. He says, Zach, I'm at a PGA Tour Fantasy League. I was able to draft you for three bucks, so I'm wondering, Am I a genius for recognizing such great value, or am I just playing with a bunch of idiots? Um, I'd rather not answer the latter part of that question because I don't know who your peers are. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you just you know you uh, you bought low and you can sell high, so that's a great investment. Uh, yeah, three bucks for the man who's fourth in the uh, race for the FedEx Cup, Zach Johnson, competing at this week's FedEx St. Jude Classic in Memphis. Play well, Zach. Thanks for connecting with us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.